rewards here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. And um, uh, it's kind of like a belt buckle. You get a belt buckle at the end of the year if you do really well. Well, that's perishable. But we're going for the imperishable. We're going for something that's going to last clear into eternity and change uh, our lives forever. This is the crown of glory I'm going to talk to you about today. It comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, starting with verse 2. It says, Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, not for dis." honest gain, but eagerly, for as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock, and when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Now this crown of glory is a special reward for the faithful, obedient, God-called pastor. I guess that's me, okay? He will receive this reward when the chief shepherd appears. It is, it is eternal. It does not fade away. But every believer can share in the pastor's crown of glory. Uh, if you remember in Matthew chapter 10 verse 41, it says, He who receives a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. So it's talking about the five-fold ministry. So if you receive a pastor... Um, if you receive a pastor in the name of the pastor, you shall receive the pastor's reward. See, you can enter in to the, um, the ministry of, of the person that you're dealing with and co-labor with them and that reward goes to you as much as it goes to me. I, I was talking yesterday about giving to a ministry. If you have somebody that, like for instance, I go to the cutting horse world, so I travel almost every weekend to a cutting and I put on church services. Well, maybe you're a cutter and some of your closest friends are cutters. Well, you're going to want them saved. Maybe you're not a preacher, but maybe you can come alongside our ministry and give to our ministry to send me out there so every week I'm out there in the midst of those cutters sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. You see? So you get to share in that reward. So um, we need to support our, our local pastors um, and encourage, not, not only support them financially, but uh, support them prayerfully, support them by encouraging them and undergirding their, their, their ministry by the, supporting what they do. Uh, the things that we go out to do, I mean, I, our, our church is so busy right now. We have so many ministries uh, it, that are reaching out to the community. And um, yes, I might be the senior pastor, but there's so much to be done here and so many different ways that people can get involved with ministry. So support your pastor, um, uh, your pastors that are going out. Um, the pastor will earn this crown of glory by, first of all, we just read, feeding the church. He is to proclaim the word of God without fear or favor, and when necessary, he will convince, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and teaching. Also, the, the pastor should take the spiritual oversight of the church. The pastor is responsible to God for the message preached to his people. No pastor should preach to please the people. He is to please the Lord. Amen. That's Galatians chapter 1 verse 10. Being a, also a pastor should be an example of the church. He is not to serve for the reward of money, yet the church is responsible to care for uh, the material needs of the pastor. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 18. He is to be a spiritual leader and not a dictator. He is to walk with God by faith and when the chief shepherd appears, hallelujah, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Amen and amen. So let me just briefly recap these crowns once again. Remember the first crown was the crown of life. You receive that. Uh, you can read about it in James chapter 1 verse 12. And then second of all was the crown of imperishable. In other words, don't go for the crown of, of perishing. The, the ones that you get, uh, all the rewards that you re receive here on the earth, they perish and go away. You want the crown of imperishable. And that comes from, let me 
1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 through 27. And then the crown of rejoicing comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19 through 20. This is really uh, the crown of rejoicing. It is the soul winner's crown, remember? That's why it's a crown of rejoicing, because all of heaven rejoices when you lead someone to the Lord. And then number four was the crown of righteousness. The crown of righteousness, and that again is not the righteousness that you receive when you are born again, but this is the crown of righteousness that you receive um, as you share the, the, the gospel with others. And then finally, the crown of glory, which we just covered today. So I hope that makes sense to you. Look at, I know... A, a lot of us who are in the, the Western world like to, to pursue winning belt buckles and winning money. But the most important thing you and I can do is win a soul for Christ, right? And to, uh, to please our Father in heaven. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you. You diligently seek him and serve him. And remember, go to church. <laughs>